Hi, my name is Stuart Simmons and I am a doctoral candidate in Instructional Technology and Distance Education program at Nova Southeastern University. Here you will find short video presentations on 10 guiding principles for instructional technology and distance education. Principle 1. Media without instructional methods leads to disaster. According to Clark, media are mere vehicles that deliver instructions. He argued that learning was not directly affected by media, but rather put the challenge that media was simply the means for delivering content and that the instructional method was instead what influenced learning. As shown in the picture, several media are displayed, but without well-designed instructions can lead to confusion. Principle 2. Motivation strategies lead to successful learning. According to Keller, there are four motivation strategies. Attention, relevance, confidence, and satisfaction. According to Hammer, motivation is defined as behavior that is being directed by a drive or some derivative thereof or some form of internal drive which encourages someone to do something in order to achieve some reward. Principle 3. Effective online syllabus equals successful outcomes. According to Paloff and Pratt, as with any course, the instructor must begin with the end in mind. That is, there must be well-defined outcomes and objectives. The course must contain appropriate reading materials. The course outline must be topic-driven and assessment activities must be developed and aligned with outcome and objectives. Principle 4. Learning from technology is not the same as learning with technology. According to Janassen, it is necessary to choose appropriate technology for distance learning. Participants must play an active role when using technologies. Technology tools must promote constructive learning and the way information is internally organized, processed, stored, and communicated. Principle 5. Educational technology consists of both delivery technology and instructional technologies. According to Clark, there are two types of distance education technologies found in distance programs. These include delivery technology and instructional technology. Delivery technology deals with materials, courseware, equipment being used, while instructional technology deals with methodology that focuses on teaching, learning, and motivating students to affect change towards academic achievement. Principle 6. Online interaction should not be confused with interactivity. According to Wagner, interactions occur when the objects and events mutually influence one another. Interactivity appears to emerge from descriptions of technology for establishing connections from point to point in real time. The disparity seems to be that interactivity involves the technology used in learning while interactions describes behaviors of the individuals and group. Principle 7. Transactional distance equals to a balance between structure and dialogue. More recognize that in a course high in structure, such as a pure lecture course, there is generally little dialogue between educator and learner, and transactional distance is maximized. Conversely, as dialogue is increased, the structure decreases, thereby minimizing the transactional distance between educator and learner. Principle 8. The Assure Learning Model represents a manner of planning for student learning that will assure success. The Assure Model is an instructional guide for planning and conducting lessons that integrate media and technology while focusing on the learner's needs. It is based on six classroom
procedures. Analyzing learners state clear objectives, select appropriate methods, media, and materials, utilize media and materials effectively, involve the learner, and evaluate and revise the process. Principle 9. Instructional technologies must support multiple interactions. Educational technologies used in distance education must expand the traditional interactions. That is, it must include the interaction between learner and technology interface. According to Moore, there are six types of interactions. Learner-learner, learner-teacher, learner-content, teacher-teacher, teacher-content, and content-content. Principle 10. The need for theory in distance education. According to Simonson, Slosher, and Hansen, theory is important to the study of distance education because it directly affects the practice of the field. In other words, theories guide the practice and research of distance education. Specifically, since telecommunication systems have significantly altered the practice of distance education in the United States.